Hi guys. All right, today we're um, going to be unboxing and having a first test flight of the Tarantula X6, which um, is a huge quadcopter. We'll uh, just have a quick look at the box there. And then there's the back. And the bottom there. Okay, so we've got this version. It comes in two colours there. And um, this quadcopter was kindly sent to us from gearbass.com. Okay, so we get to the um, unboxing of this and have a look inside. And um, you can see right away we've got um, quite a um, large sized quadcopter drone there. Um, really big size, as uh, expecting from the box. Okay, okay so um, having a look at what we've got in the box, we've got the um, Tarantula X6 quadcopter there itself. It's um, very big, very big. Some um, big motors on the bottom there, you can see. So a um, little look at that there. And uh, just for comparison, I've got a um, Simer X5C, which a lot of people have um, used before, and you can see the difference there. It's quite a, quite a big quadcopter. Okay, so we've got the um, quadcopter there, and two boxes there, and a um, nice looking white radio control there. So just pop them on there. Um, and also on the back, we've got some um, spare bits, so I'll just um, have a look at those, out of the way there. Okay, so we've got some uh, spare propellers there, very similar looking to um, DJI Phantom props in there. And an asset for there, and um, a screwdriver. Okay, there's also these two boxes, which you've got, and well, there's the landing gear, okay. There's two legs there for the landing gear and uh, some screws there inside to attach them. And we've also got a speed of battery and charger. Yeah, battery charger there and um, the battery for the tarantula, which is um, 1,200 milliamp battery. So uh, that's pretty good. Okay, so that's um, all the bits you get. Just pop them out of the way and you can see everything that comes on with it there, I'll uh, just pop these landing gear on. See these can be um, screwed into the base there. But um, what I'll do is, uh, I don't like they will, um... mm -hmm. it's one, I think that's that side. Yeah, that's the one for that side. And they don't, um, don't click in tight, so, um, Wanting to screw them on, so I'll just put them in position there. That one clicks in okay, and that's it. Uh, yeah, that's got to fit um, around the connection there for the camera, so I'll just um, secure them on quickly. Okay, so if we get these um, little screws out there, okay. If you've got the um, first landing gear there, and you can see if you just um, drop the screws in there. Like so. Okay. Okay, so there's that one there. Get that on there. Quickly. Um, Tighten and screwing with the uh, screwdriver that comes with it. It's um, the first time we've looked at this, so I didn't realise um, with the screws, otherwise I'd have had all this prepared. So um, there's one of the landing gear in secure there. And then um, put the other one in. Taking a bit longer then. 
Okay. Okay, so that, that little delay there, folks. But there we go, that's um, the landing gear screwed on. So, put it like that and then um, just to compare it, put the Sima X5C next to it, like that. And you can see quite, um, quite a big quadcopter there. Okay, so there's a quadcopter, it's got the landing gear on. Um, it comes with the uh, prop guards on, which you can obviously remove. So um, we'll go ahead there, you can see where the battery goes in. A little screw on there too, so give that an unscrew. Put the battery in there. I'll put it that way. Okay, so that's the battery in. This um just took that into that. It is the uh, first time we've taken this out of the box and had a look at it, so um, it's the first time for doing it, but yeah, just click that onto there. And um, what you want to do is just put, put the screw back on the battery compartment there. Okay, so you want to put that on a level surface with the calibrating. And that's there, ready to go. So, get the radio control and um, have a look at the back. See, it takes six triple, uh, sorry, double A batteries. So, just pop, oops, just pop them in there. And then, did it beat straight away there with the batteries in. Okay, <laughs> so. There's the trim buttons and there's the power button and the remote. So, if I um, switch on the radio control, it's a nice little compact white one, pretty big but still compact. Um, up and down on the throttle and um, oh, very loud. <laughs> you could hear a lot of power coming out of that. Okay, so the batteries um, don't come fully charged. So you can see on the front you've got the uh, red lights on the front and the uh, blue lights on the back. So I'll uh, see the radio control there. I've got the throttle on the left and uh, the direction on the right. So I'll just bring it up a little bit. And there you go. You can see really big. So um, what I'll do is I'll just give it a short test flight and uh, bring it in. Okay, so um, that's amazing. That feels really, really good. Um, a lot of power and um, quite a lot of noise as well. <laughs> but um, unlike um, some smaller quadcopters, you uh, you can't miss this in the sky. So um, I'll just give it a last um, fly around. It uh, doesn't come fully charged, so we don't want to put it in the sky for too long without giving it a full initial charge first. So, um, so you want to be up on your throttle there to take it up, and you've got the direction there. So... Um, this was the first unboxing and uh, first look at the Tarantula X6, so um, I'll give it a last little fly and we'll bring it in and put it away. 
as you can see, it's really, really rapid. Okay, so um, yeah, as you can probably see from um, and hear from the video there, really, really powerful quadcopter. So, um, okay, that's the first look, unboxing, and um, a quick test flight of the Tarantula X6. And uh, I think we can safely call this um, a giant quadcopter. So, hope you enjoyed the video.